Hi, Wayne. First off, the uh, challenge of playing a Colorado team, it's obviously very, uh, very good at home and uh, has a lot of offense. Uh, you're, you guys are going to have to find your, your defensive mojo tonight, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, this is a tremendous team. They could um, sting you, you know, from all four lines. Um, they got tremendous speed, tremendous skill, and you fall asleep, they can get you. So I think for us, it's, you know, we got to make sure that we're playing structurally sound, staying over the puck and, you know, limiting, um, you know, our turnovers and keeping them out of the middle of the ice. Uh, and follow up uh, to the uh, diversity uh, message that you guys uh, released the last uh, few days. Uh, clearly, you guys feel that it's important to keep this thing, uh, this whole uh, message uh, front and center, not let it uh, slip away like last year. And uh, further towards that, are you using some of that tape that uh, is advertised in the uh, in the message? Yeah, definitely. I, I think to the first part of your question, we want to keep this, you know, the topic relevant. Um, you know, this is not an issue that is just in the past you know it still happens today so um by joining up with budweiser canada you know i think we've, we've we're running a great campaign here and we just want like you said we want to keep it relevant um you know we want to keep it in front of the people and we want to continue these tough conversations you know to where we we can get to a point to where we don't even have to talk about this anymore obviously um we know it's going to take a while it's not going to happen overnight but that's the whole point of the campaign and continuing the conversation Next, we'll go to David Alter with the Hockey News. Go ahead, David. Hey, Wayne, just furthering to uh, that last message you're talking about, in this ad, there's a lot of graphic content. How important was that to kind of be really in your face with it to kind of maybe put an exclamation point on, on the point you guys are trying to make here? Yeah, we thought it was necessary just because, you know, a lot of that stuff happens behind the scenes and people don't hear about it. People don't see it. Um, so I think for us, it was really just, you know, putting it out there. Some things that we, we really do experience, um, you know, it, it hits hard sometimes. Um, not sometimes, all the time. You know, you can go back to your Twitter, your Instagram, or, um, you know, even text messages that you could get. Some, somebody might randomly find your number and, you know, these things, these things happen. Um, you know, it, it happens way too often. And... Um, you know, we just wanted people to know that, you know, it's just not us crying, you know, poor, poor us. Um, you know, this is something that, you know, is extremely um, important to us. It's still happening today. And, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, the next generation of, you know, hockey players, BIPOC hockey players know that they have, so, they have people that are standing with them. And, um, you know, if, you know, we can make it to this level, they can definitely make it to this level as well. Go to Luke Fox, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Luke. Hi, Wayne. Uh, I thought the video was excellent. Um, I am curious why you guys weren't wearing your NHL sweaters in the video, and maybe you could explain that and, and what relationship, if any, the HDA has with the NHL right now. Um, I'll answer the second part of your question first. Um, we don't really have an ongoing relationship with the NHL, and I think that's why we weren't allowed to um, you know, use our NHL, you know, equipment, logos, and, uh, you know, things of that manner. Um, but, you know, to us, I think the most important thing is just getting this campaign out in front of the hockey world's eyes, um, you know, for everyone to realize, you know, what actually is going on behind the scenes. So, um, you know, it's unfortunate we don't have a working relationship with the NHL, but it is what it is, and we're going to continue to forge forward and, um, you know, try to make a difference in our game. Thanks. And finally, we go to Mark Slinsky with the Toronto Star. Go ahead, Mark. Hi, Wayne. Um, could you talk about Nas, uh, Nazem Kadri, what he does for the Alliance and, uh, you know, what, what he brings as a person and how he helps the Alliance uh, accomplish what you want to accomplish? Um, Nas is an amazing human, human being. I've got to know Nas over, I want to say, the last 10 plus years of, you know, just playing against each other, of being in the London area. And, um, you know, he's a very important part, you know, of the Hockey Diversity Alliance. He's one of the co-founders, um, you know, with the, with the original nine of us. And, um, you know, obviously he brings, you know, so much, you know, to what we're trying to do. You know, he's a very outspoken person and, you know, he's, he's, he's a man of the people. Um, you know, he doesn't, you know, sugarcoat things. Um, he lets you know, things be known, um, you know, things that happened to him, his experiences. And, you know, obviously I think that's a huge help, um, you know, not only to the HDA, but, you know, the kids who look up to Nas.